I'm Richard Roper. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly for the week. The good, the talented, earnest, and very likable Jimmy Fallon made his debut as the host of The Tonight Show, which returned to New York after 42 years. Fallon has been playing to his strengths, and he showcased his impressive creative comedic skills, and a number of big-name celebs dropped by to show their support. I still think Jimmy isn't best suited to a traditional talk show format, and I believe he'll be hard-pressed to match Jay Leno's numbers once the hype dies down. But how can you not root for this guy? And now for the bad. Oh, that weather. Jesus, make it warm! Yeah, but not that warm. After yet another snowstorm, we saw temperatures rise to about 50 degrees. That, of course, caused all kinds of flooding problems, from snow mountains to ice caves on Lake Michigan to thunder snow, which sounds like the name of a mal strip review in Vegas. We've seen it all and then some. It's as if the weather is being presented by the Old Testament. Oh! Listen to that! Oh, and the ugly. Oh, boy. Nearly 20 years after former Congressman Mel Reynolds was convicted on charges of sexual assault, obstruction of justice, and solicitation of child pornography, Reynolds was arrested again in Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwe Herald reports Reynolds was found in possession of pornographic videos and pictures. He owes more than $24,000 in unpaid hotel bills, and he even allowed his visa to expire. Last year, Reynolds made a pathetic run for his former congressional seat using the slogan, Redemption. He told us we should judge him not on his past, but on his current behavior. Oh, I bet Bill Clinton is so happy he commuted Reynolds' sentence back in the day. I'm Richard Roper. This is The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly.